I'm meteorologist Dave Warren, and uh, well, we'll look at a little cooler day tomorrow. In fact, we could uh, put an end to our streak of uh, the temperature touching 90 degrees. Today was day number 41, but uh, the rain cooled air, dropping the numbers a bit today. And with more rain and clouds in the forecast tomorrow, maybe not quite as hot, but that'll lead to another problem there. Uh, with very heavy rain, persistent heavy rain over the next few days, could see some flooding here. And now it's just light rain tonight. We had some brief downpours as it was a little stormy here this afternoon. But as sun went down, now things are just pretty quiet. Just a few light rain showers tonight. One last thunderstorm in the upper keys uh, continuing to move off to the northeast. Uh, we are looking at this area of low pressure and a stationary front, which will be the focus of some very heavy rain up and down the Florida Peninsula. A bit rare uh, to see a pattern like this setting up here in July. A front pushed all the way south to uh, the northern part of the state, but it is just stalled out. And combined with that, an area of low pressure developing. We'll watch this for any type of development. You get this type of setup, and you can get some very heavy rain over the same area. That could lead to a problem here. First, we'll start off with the uh, future weather computer tonight. That heavy rain moves off the coast. Things are pretty quiet overnight tonight, but we'll see these stormy periods here uh, moving through the area. So this is very heavy rain right over the area. And then uh, from Monday night to Tuesday, we get a little break, but then Tuesday we could get more rounds of heavy rain. Now this is just the computer forecast and it's just a forecast of the uh, actual rainfall. Uh, and then really not trying to pinpoint specific areas here, but when you see very heavy rains like this with the amounts forecasted over seven inches, maybe not happening in this area, but certainly the conditions are there for some regions in our area to get inches of rain, locally heavy rain uh, between Monday and Tuesday. So we'll watch for the potential for flooding. A development potential 20% in 48 hours, 30% in five days. With that area of low pressure, it could drift across the state. And we'll watch this area of low pressure in the Atlantic, just a 20% chance of development over the next five days. Numbers tomorrow, 89 degrees, not quite as hot. There will be stormy periods with very heavy rain, and that will continue again Tuesday. Those are the stormiest days here in this extended forecast. Then we return to a typical pattern, sunshine and storms as the temperature climbs back above 90 degrees.